Hello everyone. Welcome to Artificial Intelligence Hub. So today I'm going to teach you, I'll give a demo, I'm going to give you a demo how to extract uh, images from any video. So first of all, I'm telling you why we need this. Then we're going to work with computer vision, machine learning and image processing. We need uh, some images for classification or object detection. Sometimes we make a video, so we need uh, some images so we convert that videos into the images so we we get a data set that we can call a data set. So it is very helpful to extract images and make a data set for you. Let's start it now. So first of all, we need a library uh, for, to, for doing this. We need a library called uh, or CV, open CV. So I'm going to import a CV, import CV2 function and after that I'm gonna call cv2 I'm gonna call cv2 dot video I'm just gonna call cv2 dot video cap sure so I'm gonna pass a video here so I'm gonna pass a video here it will uh, it will read a video file and save into the this this variable. So I'm gonna show you this is the video I'm using. It's <laughs> so here, so this is the video the call dot mp4. I'm gonna call this one call so call dot mp4. So hope uh, it's working. Let me check. Is yeah, this code is working. So I'm gonna write uh, something here. So first of all, I'm gonna write here a uh, function name prop is equal to cv2 dot cap. So make sure the spellings are cv2 dot cap. I'm gonna prop. This is the function. Uh, this is the function for using to. Uh, you can say by using to calculate the how how many number of frames are in particular images. So I'm going to write this function to count the frames in a particular image. Total is equal to. I'm going to write int. So cascade. I'm going to use a cascade here. So we two dot get this one i'm gonna call this one pro of this function so it will uh, call cv to this function and after that let me check something is ah yeah i'm really sorry for this one so after that i'm gonna print how many frames are present there so first of all i'm gonna write uh, uh, write something here so I'm gonna write info about the information and curly brackets and after that total frame in video dot what will be the let me write here dot for Mate, I'm gonna pass a frame here for me. I'm gonna pass a one variable in this uh, frame. The variable name is total. So let me check is it working or not. It show me some error here. Let me confirm that. What is the error? Ha! I have to close this bracket also. Sure. So if you can see here, total uh, five, five, eight, five total frame in a video. So you can see I'm gonna I have called a cap prop frame counter. So after that I convert this value into the integer. You can say can cascades. I have used the cascade that value getting the string value and convert into the integer. And then I will call I will write wrote this value using info and this function is write this number here and total frame in uh, video. So it's right here the total frame in the video. 
So after that, I'm going to use a function read, uh, read uh, the information and frame from the a given video. So I'm write return and and img is equal to v2 dot read. So this function will read any frame. This function v2 not v uh, in a video. So this function this this function gonna read all images in given. Uh, you can say the given. Uh, this function uh, v2 dot uh, capture so this capturing the in uh, this will take the video so it will read the frame from the video and return means uh, it will give us a return is equal to true if, if it's reading the video you can i'm mean, gonna write here so it will return a true if something is present uh, here the information or the images you can say it's returning to there is not any video it will return a false so after that i'm gonna uh, make a function i'm gonna write to uh, uh, for the count is equal to zero and uh, let me write i'm sorry for that i'm gonna write to while while means uh, while uh to wait wait or let me write the correct spelling red means it's written in the two so this will loop uh, works successfully uh, the tv2 dot i am uh, right right it will write the values on to the particular given directory so i'm gonna write this one on images so this folder i'm gonna write images so it will automatically write frames there so um, i'm gonna write frame so it will frame and uh, add so let me do i'm gonna write frame so frame and and after that percentage sign d dot uh, is in the format of j uh, p d it will write the images uh, with the with the name uh, frame one two three and uh, in the format of jpg you can write any format like png jpg whatever you want and it will count and uh, the images i am g so this is the function so let me check uh, maybe it's, maybe something is wrong here. I did something wrong here. I am I am right. So here is the function images slash this one and yeah I have to so I'm gonna so let me check undefined name oh undefined name count oh sorry this is I have to correct the spelling so after that a red return and img read again so this will loop read first first time read again i'm gonna call let me check it's working ah yeah uh, i'm gonna call this function again so this function uh, will read the image the first time this will uh, this read one one frame from the image uh, from the given video so after that count is equal count is equal to one so it will go into the this loop and this loop will working again and again read the frame and work again and again and again so that's why i write i wrote this uh, function two time so it will uh, work in this uh, particular given uh, loop it will not move back to so after this one so i'm gonna uh, write print some command here so i'm writing here read a new frame and uh, this should be looks like uh, return return if return is equal to true so and that count is equal to is equal to one so i'm gonna give that how the code is uh, working so first of all let me uh, run this one is it working or not yeah you can see it's reading the frame and uh, says uh, two 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 it's reading the frame and return the, this return uh, i get a value of two means it's reading uh, each frame or image and save into the directory where I will have make a directory. You can see here the images are extracted and saved here. So uh, we have to check it's select it's it com it's it's completed and we can check it again how many images are there. So it has wrote a uh, two images still now. So it maybe wrote a lot of images here, but. Uh, 
oh i'm really sorry i do i did something wrong so i'm gonna uh, remove this and so what i did wrong here you can say i'm just i did not do i just wrote read some only one single particular frame so i have to add plus counter to do a right more image so i'm going to delete this one from this directory and going to run the code again and let's see what will happen so you can see it's reading the frame and return the true value yeah it's uh, mean it's reading the frame you can see here it's actually it's acting the frame uh, and uh, uh, images from the particular given videos so it will give us the images and will uh, end the loop so this is the whole code you can see here before giving that images it has shown a total number of frames in the particular uh, given uh, video so let me com uh, it's completed so you can see here here are the images in the given uh, folder so so i'm gonna talk again about the whole code so here i'm i have a import the cv2 function and read the videos from the uh, re use a video capture means i'm capturing the fall video this is the mp4 video and after that i'm gonna i'm gonna use this cap prop frame counter I'm gonna use this function to count how many images in a particular frame after that i'm gonna read single frame or images from a given video and return means it will show this function this function read the image it will save the images it will say and return means it show true and false true means it show that it kept uh, images yeah, there is an image if it falls in it means there is not any after that i'm going to use a function count is equal to zero and make a while loop while loop will work till the end of this game so when the when the uh, this code run when we reach here so it will uh, write a frame a count is equal to zero and the image is equal to one when the count is equal to zero and it will save a fun frame into the directory and after that it will the code uh, will be and the loop this loop part till the end so first of it uh, after uh, it will read this line and after that go to the this line read the next frame and uh, uh, return to give this this one true and uh, can you you can see here false mean it's not reading the last frame i mean after the video is completed say false false mean the loop will end so here the return is equal to two and read the frame and count is equal to one so this count will be one and frame and d is equal to one and it will save the next frame next frame so this loop will be work till end so hope you like this video and thank you so much please do uh, like and subscribe my channel i will be uploading more videos related to computer vm machine learning python and more a lot of stuff in this channel thank you so much